We're going to start out the week three review, reviewing our goal line mechanics, which basically are going to start when the ball is snapped from the 10 and in. Some of the crews are having a difficult time with the concept, but it's rather simple. Ball snapped from the 10 and in, wings get to the goal line, unless the play is coming your way. So your initial steps when the ball snapped from the 10 and in is to the goal line, unless the play is coming right at you. Umpires, you either step back to the goal line or step up to the goal line and prepare to rule on the wide plays. Here, our wings are at the goal line and then they work back and get the spot. We'll look at it again. Watch our wings. Ball snapped to the goal line, especially the top there. Look how fast our line judge got there. Our umpire stepped up to the goal line ready to rule on the play. Another play, we're snapped from the seven. Let's watch our umpire. He's situated on the one yard line. The ball snapped. He reads the play going to his left. He gets to the goal line, works inside out, makes the call. Look at it again, a little closer. Watch our wing at the top of the screen. Play is coming right at him. So he's got to back out as he does here. Picks up wall responsibility. Didn't matter too much here. Umpire makes the call. That's how we want it done. Next play. Let's watch our back judge. This is the no man's land when the ball snapped between the 10 and 15. If the H can get to the goal line, make the effort to get there. You guys are athletic enough to do that. Uh, but our back judge here sees the play coming underneath. Watch him. Steps up to the goal line. And he's ready to rule on the goal line if need be. Then come in and clean up. Hey, watch the H at the bottom. He's got a clear path. Hesitates just a bit. Clear path. Skip the hesitation. Get to the goal line. Watch our umpire. Steps up. Ready to rule if need be. Fights through that player if need be. Uh, let's see. This one. Um, they hit a home run here. Sweep to the bottom of the screen where the H is. He backs out. Umpire steps up. Wing's got his arm up indicating runner down. Umpire comes in and gets a spot. Watch it again. Play's coming right at the H. He can't get to the goal line. He needs to back out to save himself. Umpire steps up. Wing's got his arm up. Umpire comes spot the ball. Nice job. Here, watch our wing. Snap from about the one. Easy. Get to the goal line. This is a dive play. The umpire will not be able to rule on this play. Step to the goal line wings and make the call. Here, look at our umpire. He's in good position. The wing at the top. Had to make a decision whether I go for the goal line or is the play coming out of me. No problem either way. Get to the goal line or stay back. The umpire here steps up, turns out, can rule on the play. And uh, let's look at the wing next clip, left side. We'll look at it one more time, but look at the wing on the left. As soon as that ball snapped, look how quickly to the goal line. That's how we want it done. If clear path, wings get to the goal line. If you got to think about it, it's okay to stay back. Umpires, make sure you're on that goal line, either stepping back to it or stepping up to it. Okay, let's look at about five illegal defenses. Umpires, preventive officiating. Talk to these defensive ends, talk to these linebackers, smack them on their rears to slide them in. Anything you can do to help them line up properly. Here, we've got a linebacker moving prior to the snap. Umpire sees it, got the flag. Nice job. Look at it again. Linebacker's got to be stationary prior to the snap. We do want that call. It is an advantage. Nice job here by this umpire. On this play, look at our right defensive end. He is not shoulder to shoulder. He's outside shoulder to shoulder. Right there. Umpire adjusts a little bit. He's got the flag in his pocket. That is a good call, and we do want that call. Here, watch our uh, umpire. He's going to talk to the right defensive end. Look at it again. He's shouting, 87, slide in, slide in. 87 slides in. We don't have a flag. That's what we mean, preventive officiating. Here, left side linebacker, outside rush. Umpire has it in his pocket. Nice call. He's got to blitz the A-gap. He goes outside the end. We want a flag. Watch our uh, safety there on the goal line. He is not covering up a receiver, and he blitzes on a pass play. That's an illegal defense. We needed a flag here. This was a turnover, and we missed this one. Watch again. That safety is up on the line of scrimmage, not covering a receiver. 
He decides to penetrate the line of scrimmage. That is a blitz. We do need a flag on this play. We'll look at it one more time. Again, he's taking a risk blitzing here and not covering up a receiver. It's a run play. He's going to be okay. Pass play, we've got an illegal defense. Just be aware of this down at the goal line because this one would have called back a turnover. Okay, next couple plays are still shots. Look at the linebacker's foot. It's in front of the goal line. His toes have to be on the line. Foremost part of the foot not to extend past the goal line. Here's another shot. This is a talk to. We really don't want to call this, but let's talk to the linebackers early when we're down on the goal line. Guys, toes on the line, not your heel. That way we can put a stop at this and I don't have to look at these pictures. Let's look at some UNRs, UNSs. First play is the third play of the game. Opening kickoff was run back for a touchdown, then the try, then this. It had already started in the first couple of plays. Right there, that's just too late. We do want a flag on that type of play. The officials did get in tight and control the situation, but that is simply too much, and it is too late. We do want a flag. I don't care if it's the third game, third play of the game. Here, protect the quarterbacks. Pile driving. That's not allowed. Referee, right on top of the call with a flag. Nice job by the referee on this play. Protect the quarterbacks. Watch the quarterback here. He's going to roll to the left. Step up. The ball's away. Can't have that. Referee right on top of it with a flag. Watch it again. Protect the quarterbacks. Balls away. That's unnecessary. Nice job, referee. End of this play. We don't have to use the flag every time. This was just a little hand fighting. The officials came in, took control. Not a problem letting this one go with just a talk to. No one ended up on the ground. Judicious use of, non-use of a flag there. No problem. Watch it one more time. Again, Use your discretion on this type of play, but do protect the quarterbacks. We have some very good officials in the IFL, and we'll end looking at some very well officiated plays. We even have some referees who can speak. Listen up. Just say. Signal. Good explanation to the crowd. Excellent work. Here, we got third down coming out. We're at about the one yard line. We're going to have an incomplete pass. Check out page 50 of the rule book. Where are we going to spot this ball for the scrimmage kick? It's now fourth down at the one yard line. The rule book says we can spot this ball up to the 50. I'm sorry, up to the four yard line, and they can't fake it. Nice work by this crew knowing the rules on this type of play. So if we're inside the, inside the five, I guess it is, we can uh, spot that ball up to the four-yard line, inside the four, put it up to the four-yard line on the scrimmage kick. Gives them a little bit more room to operate back there with their kicker and holder. This play, onside kick, point of this clip, watch our official at the bottom of the field. If you see possession, player possession on the ground, signal it. We don't have to go digging. You see a ball and player possession on the ground, sell the direction. Here, look at this play twice. Great display of athleticism. I want you to look at the wing official at the top of the screen on the left side. Remember, he's our line judge. Got to hold the line of scrimmage. Holding, holding, holding. Now the ball is by him. Great speed, athleticism, getting down the sidelines to rule on the play. He's trailing the play. Picks up the wall responsibility, flies downfield. He's in excellent position to rule on opponent contact into the wall. The H comes in with a great cross field spot. Crew hits a home run here on this play. Nice job. This is how we want it done, gentlemen. Excellent work by this crew. Next play, just a kind of a philosophy. There was an email question about this play. No touchdown here. What's going to happen is if the touching of the wall after the contact can be attributed to the contact in any way, we should rule no touchdown. 
If the player regains his balance and continues running, we'd let it go, but here that didn't occur. We'll look at it again. This player was losing his balance the entire time because of the initial contact by the defender. And when looking at these plays, remember, view the wall much like we handle down by contact in the outdoor football. I'd like to see a better look at this with video, but it appears the touching of the wall was part of the initial contact on the runner, so we do not want a touchdown here. Remember, down by contact, that's how we deal with the walls. We'll end the video with something that we're not handling well across the board this year. Look at the coach. Look where he's at. Completely unacceptable, and this is occurring uh, regularly. We do need this flag. It's not petty. It's not nitpicking. That's what the league office wants. These coaches have got to stay within arm's length of that wall. This would be flag number two right here. Guys, across the field, whoever sees it, we have got to have a flag. We have got to get these coaches back on the walls. This is unacceptable. Third time here, this would have been loss of sideline privileges here. Guys, let's get on top of this. Thanks and have a great, great week this week.